Jamie Pendleton. I'm back in my office. It's been a very cold winter. But I wanted to talk about bandanas. I wanted to talk about how um, I wear them. I, people ask me all the time about why I'm always wearing bandanas. Well, number one, it's my head covering. So I can open it up when I'm praying and I can open it up. Or I can wear it like this. It keeps my uh, hair out of my face. But not only that, it's in a really good way to wear a really good prepping item around with you wherever you go. From straining water before you put it in a Berkey, to washing dishes, to washing up. Um, you can even hang one of these off of your purse, okay? There's many uses for a bandana. These are all 22 by 22 inches, so you can make your own. 22 by 22 inches. So you can make your own. I find the best ones are made from this really soft material here. I don't know if I can find one that's got a, a tag on it, but isn't that beautiful? These are my favorites because you can fold them up different ways. See, you can have more of an orange collar that day, or you can have more of a pink collar that day. So they're very versatile, and I wear a lot of black because I'm a redhead, so that goes. Uh, here's another one. And this is another favorite of mine as well. It's another really soft one. It's not heavy at all. I'll, I get really bad migraines, so I can't wear anything too tight on my head. But again, it depends how you fold it. Um, wrong way. It depends how you fold it. You know, what collar you're mostly getting. So, um, so that's another really pretty one. And then... Um, and then here's another one, turquoises and the pinks, and it's just a really pretty, pretty one as well. And because I'm a redhead and I wear a lot of black, again, these go really well. So you get the picture. I got a couple of new ones. I always wanted a purple one. I always wanted a yellow one. And I'm still looking for a lime green one. I've got some that go when we're bugging out. I've got some on my backpack. Of course, there's the traditional red where me and Lexi match. This is Lexi's, this is mine. Mine's the lighter weight one. Hers is the heavier fabric. Traditional black and white. <laughs> got all colors of blues, and I got an extra one of my favorites. You got people, what color do you want to wear today, huh? Do you want to wear your red one? Or do you want to be pink today, huh? Or wrinkly. Come here. Is. My model. We can match. I can put on my red one and we can match. I know people that match their dogs. I can't help myself though. She's just so precious. Okay. Today we're talking about uses for handkerchiefs. Alright, so uses for bandanas. And I'll just get one here that's opened here and lay it open here for you. Alright. Like I said, you can make your own. And I've this this comes with the bandana. Uh, when you buy your bandana, it'll come like with a little packet like this. Well, inside, it'll give you a list of things that you can do with your bandana. And I keep one of these lists packed up and slipped over an extra bandana, um, you know, in my bug out bag. Or I just store it like this, and you can just give it a, a roll just like this. And then there's my bandana. And all the uses are already still with it. So I keep it, well, you know, one or two of them I'll keep on the actual Thing. That's why I have multiple bandanas. Or I'll lose my favorite one and then I'll find it later somewhere. Things you can do with a bandana. Come here, Lexi. You want to be my model? Come here. Okay. Headband for your hair. A prayer scarf or a head covering. A scarf or a belt. You know. A scarf or a belt. Jewelry for a bracelet. I've seen that with the beadwork and stuff on it. This is just ways to wear your uh, bandana with you so that you'll have one with you. Tie it on your purse or your bug out bag. Just make sure if it's on your bug out bag, make sure that you do one that's like this. You do not want to do, you know, the red flag. Now you can carry a red one with you and use it for a red flag in emergency. Good idea. Great signaling flag. But you're more likely going to want to use something this color when you're out walking or hiking and you don't want to be seen. Let's 
see, let's see, you can embellish your blue jeans, you can make a girl's skirt out of them, you can make quilts out of them, and I've seen some baby uh, blankets done that are really beautiful, and some teen girls uh, uh, quilts, you can sew together make quilts, you can make curtains for your bedroom, that's not even on the list, but that's really cool, the first aid bandage, you know, first aid bandage, um, a tourniquet, Face mask, the rob a train, there you go. Handkerchief, of course it's a good handkerchief, that's what it's for. A sweatband, uh, a trail marker, something like this would be a great trail marker. Teach your children how to do that in the woods so they can find their way back out. Use as a scrapbook cover to make a scrapbook, to cover a lampshade. Wouldn't that be really cool? To cover a lampshade. Um, what can we do with them? There you go, you can cover the lampshades. A little ambient lighting. Uh, let's see, what else can we do with them? We can create a dorm bulletin board cover with it. That's actually a really good idea. It sounds really fun, ladies, girls. That sounds like fun. So bulletin board cover. Um, matter of fact, you could wrap a gift. It doesn't say this, but you could totally wrap a, wrap a gift up in something like this or like a, uh, a bug out item for someone's bug out bag and something like this. That would be a great idea. I love that. Um, another idea is you could uh, put one of these on a large half gallon a canning jar and then you could have uh, some uh, first aid or prepping items in there and this could make be the makeshift tourniquet for it and it could be, you know, prepping can be fun. It can be decorative. You don't have to do something boring with it. It can be fun. And, um, and I'm just coming up with some ideas off my head here. Uh, create a child's tutu with it. <laughs> we'll go about that one. Make a jewelry travel pouch or create a desk set. I don't know about all that. Make a Halloween treat bag out of the orange ones maybe. I don't know. Those are kind of odd ones, I think. Outdoor and active lifestyle. Again, we talked about making it a first aid bandage or a tourniquet, a face mask, a sweatband, a trail marker, a measuring tool. Um, it's a great way to have a little picnic when you're out traveling. And remember the old-fashioned uh, movies where they put the lunches in them on a stick and hung them over the shoulder? There you go. Going to run away from home. The hobo bag. I think they called them the ho hobo stick bag. So that's all, you know, a lot to be said for the homeless hobos back in their day. They knew how to travel and live. And they used this to filter their water out of the creeks and streams and to get them wet. And then uh, get them wet, wrap them around their necks like this, and stay cool in the heat. Uh, when they hop trains, my grandpa said he used to take his bandana and lay it over the dirt, so he'd have a soft place to, you know, to lay his arm because he'd be filthy too. And um, and so he'd lay this even over the straw for his uh, maybe a child to sit on or something. Uh, if you're out at a ball game. Just lay your thing. There's so many uses when you need just a little piece of fabric like this. So many uses. Um, I mentioned the book. Oh, cover a cigar box or a purse with it. That would be really pretty. Cover a cigar box and blend it in with your bedroom. Uh, that would be fun. You can make doll clothes. You can make doll blankets. That's a really cute idea. Um, you can embellish a tote or an apron. Oh, I love the apron idea. We'll have to do that. I love my bandana, so the apron idea, and since I'm a chef, that would really be a really lot of fun. I'm totally going to do this. And uh, sew into summer shorts for boys. I'm not getting that one. But, I mean, if you had to. Uh, spruce up tennis shoes. So it must be cut them up and make strings out of them, maybe. I don't, I don't know that one. I'll have to look that one up. Um, I think a diaper cover or diapers, you know, the diaper covers for the newborns, good idea. Um, they're not probably absorbent enough to use for ladies' homemade menstrual pads, but um, but right below, if you make your own homemade menstrual pads, some of these heavier ones might work. But I think you need more of an absorbent material for that. Uh, wear it as part of a costume, a hand rag, luggage tag. You could definitely see your luggage coming down the conveyor belt with one of these on, couldn't you? Uh, a small towel, a handkerchief, of course, emergency diaper. I just mentioned that, didn't I? A car window shade to hold up. 
roll the window up and put this in there and you got to let's say your grandma and you don't have all the car seat shades and everything but you throw the car seat in there block the sun there you go here's a nice way to get some diffused light a little heavier one of course would block the light altogether in the in the car spending the night in your car a couple of them on the windows would keep people from seeing you Fancy gift wrap, I talked about that. I think that would be really, really cool to be able to just wrap a present. Some people are saying, oh, I wouldn't do that. But there you go, hand a gift to someone and wrap a present in it. And then they also have the bandana. Preppers would love that kind of thing. Teen girls would love that kind of thing. These are totally cool, okay? These are totally cool. Air backs, cushion backs, curtain balances, create a tree skirt for Christmas time, a napkin, of course, when you go picnicking, okay? A couple of these sewn together for a picnic blanket, and then a couple of them with your uh, forks and napkins wrapped in here, and then wrap your forks in there, and then you could have a picnic napkin with your fork set in each one. Uh, napkin rings, a tablecloth, to line a picnic basket with these would be cool. Sports banners. And I think even tying like a red, white, and blue one. Red, white, and blue ones from your antenna or off the back of your motorhome. That would be fun. I can think of all kinds of things in the motorhome for these. From curtains to cushions on the sofas. You could really have a lot of fun in your RV or your camping trailer. Um, to make the little banner things like this. To, to put across your trailer. That would be fun. So if you have any ideas that you've used your bandanas for, leave a comment below, whether it be for prepping, around the house, whether it's something that you wear or how you wear it. Um, let us know. Let's have fun this week with bandanas, okay? So uh, you can pick a couple of these up I got at Walmart. You can get them at the dollar store for a uh, dollar for two. Um, the Dollar Tree has them for a dollar for one. And then we had, um, so the Dollar General, I think, had the best deal. Walmart had a pretty good deal. Um, I got this one at Tractor Supply. And, it, and you can see I have multiple colors, multiple styles. And uh, the lightweight ones are best for your hair. And they're, they're really, really nice. The heavier weight ones are probably better for straining water or for putting on your bug out bag. I got to get my model up so she can model her bandana for you. She's chewing on a rawhide bone right now. We are making applesauce bread right now. Ooh, the joy of applesauce bread. And we're using our 2D2, or the bullet. We're using our DAC Turbo Baker bread machine to bake that. With the bandana, like I said, be sure to keep this cover plate. And what you can do is you can even write some of your extra ideas on here as well. Again, a red one's good to wave down for an emergency but you'll want to wear, if you don't want to be seen and you don't want to be found, bugging out, then of course, you don't want to tie anything like this onto your bug out bag. You're going to want to tie, you know, the darker, not even that, that's got white in it. You want to keep it pretty camouflaged for the area. So, um, yeah, you don't want to walk around with bright pink on. Not a good idea, not even purple. You, I mean, not even this yellow one. If you want to be seen, fine. If you don't want to be seen, then try to stick with darker collars. And don't tie anything under your bug out bag that makes you be seen. Not even something that small. Trust me, somebody in a scope rifle, that will just help them pin. I've seen people actually wear the bright orange matchsticks or the red uh, little flashlights or whatever on the front of their bands or their bug out bag. My husband did it once. And I said, you're military too. There's no reason at all for you to be doing that. I mean, that's one way for someone to scope you and pull and just zoom, zoom right in on your heart or on a major organ. No, right down even to your head. It, it helps somebody scope you. Somebody that's scoping, they're gonna look for something to tag you with. And, and something like this is just asking for, well, it's asking to get your head blown off your shoulder. So um, anyway, I hope this has helped you. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like bandanas. I'm sorry. All right, so coming up next, and we are going to be doing Mysterious Ways and Jesus Calling and read from the Bible today. So we have Maranatha Minutes. We have a lot going on. So in our applesauce bread, stay tuned for that recipe as well. We're going to get all these edited and posted as fast as possible. You got it. All right. 
She's so darling. I love my little doggie. Do you have a pet that your favorite pet? Leave a message below and let me know if you dress up like your pet. <laughs> we wear matching bandanas, don't we, Lexi? Here's mine and here's her. She's wearing her other red one. And then I've got one like this and one like this. And well, or where's my other one? Here it is. And we dress alike. And here's my other one like this one. So we'll dress alike. I share bandanas with my dog. I do. All right. So John's finishing electrical work today in the kitchen so that I can get to painting and I can finish helping him hang that cabinet. It is extremely heavy. All right, we love you. Go with God. Be sure to leave a comment below and let us know what you use your bandanas for or some ideas that you might have that are creative to that maybe you, ways you've used them for quilts or even send me a picture and I'll post a picture uh, on our next video. So send me pictures of some of the projects you've done or how you've used uh, bandanas either for prepping for straining water, or even for decorating your house, your body, whatever. Send a comment, send a picture. Yeah, let's look, at this. look at all these. I just love pandanas. Oh, I love them so much. Oh my god. <laughs> and you can do magic tricks. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Lots of bandanas. All right. So even magic tricks. We love you. Go with God. Enjoy your day. Blessings.